Wah! Euripides, 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 Euripides. <laughs> hey folks, good morning. This is Tony from No Limit. Um, I'm here to talk about this vehicle that we've had at our shop for a, a few months. It's a, it's a very exciting build. The customer um, went away for work, left the vehicle with us. He wanted to set it up for camping, um, staying in the outdoors for a few days, um, upgraded the suspension, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get into a couple of the details and what the vehicle is and what exactly we did to it. It's a um, 2020 um, Dodge uh, 2500 uh, diesel. Um, we upgraded the suspension to an Icon four and a half performance kit, pretty much just to, to, to keep the truck off the ground, give them clearance for going off-roading and that, and that sort of thing. We didn't wanna go up too high. Once you're doing a camping setup, you kinda want the truck to a lower center of gravity. You don't wanna do like a 10 inch lift or a 12 inch lift when you're going through the woods and you have weight on the roof and weight in the back of the truck. So we stuck with a four and a half inch lift. Um, we went ahead and added a few racks from front runner to it, one to the front, which now holds a Boulder 100 solar panel from Goal Zero. And we added uh, another slim line to the ARE cap to hold the tent and um, any other accessories he wants to add in the future, lighting, um, awnings, that sort of thing. So to talk about the tent a little bit, it's a uh, Auto Home Magellina Airlander 360. It's pretty much their biggest tent they make. It sleeps four, it's four season tent. Um, it's a four post tent. It actually has a crank that you insert into the back and turn and that raises the tent up. It's pretty, pretty easy to, to set up, very nice. Um, other than that, we also did an ARE cap as well with the outdoor vented wind door so he can open these up and reach in and uh, you know, get accessories out of the back of the truck, um, access anything he has in the back without having to climb in and crawl in to get stuff. He's got, it's very easy to access. It also is vented so it has a screen in here. So if you're in there at night or you decide to climb, in back, climb back there with weather or sleep back there, you can open this and it allows air travel to go in and keep it cool in the back of the cap. We also added a deck system for storage on top, which we mounted a couple accessories to and storage inside. I mean, they're very versatile. They, you know, they come with these two containers. You can add more if you want to. You can store, you know, stuff in here you don't want to get wet. Extra clothes, shoes, um, cooking supplies, anything you need for camping, rope, anything. So they're awesome. They're very roomy. Um, they have dividers in them, these in them, and they also come with um, different openings and different like configurations for whatever needs. If you have something long or you want to put fishing poles or something like that in there, whatever you want to keep in here where it's safe, where it's dry, it's gonna be out of the elements. Um, these are awesome, awesome additions to pickup trucks and for camping. Um, one of my favorite features of the deck system is this handy dandy bottle opener. Um, I can crack open my course banquet right on here, no problem at all. Have a cold beer after a long day of work. <laughs> Done, we also added a um, Dometic CFX 75 cooler, dual zone cooler. It's freezer fridge or fridge fridge or freezer freezer. Um, we mounted that in the back on the deck system with a Alucab tilting slide. That way he can open it up, tilt it down um, and access inside of the fridge. Pulls out, lift up, lean it down and there you go and you're, you're up and running and you, know, you can access everything pretty easy through here. Um, we wired it hardwired to a um, Goal Zero Yeti 3000 power bank, um, which is mounted over here to a bracket that I custom made and mounted to the top of the deck system. Um, that's also powered by the solar panel on the roof. Um, and this is connected to the, to the Dometic so we can have power at all times. You can charge your phones. That thing's a powerhouse. I mean, you can run just about anything you want off of that thing. So it's it's an awesome setup to have when you're outdoors. You can you know, run stoves, run whatever you need electric off of it. Um, we mounted a Pro Eagle jack, which is kind of hard to see, but it's behind the Dometic. That's hard mounted in the back in case if he ever gets a flat tire, you know, out in the woods, needs to change the tire. And his spare is mounted in the back of here as well. The spare full size wheel and tire. Um, that way he's got, you know, he won't be stranded if he gets a flat. Train horn kit underneath with air tank with air, access air, so he has full air when he's out in the woods. If he needs to deflate his tires, if he's staying on a beach um, or anywhere like that, he can deflate the tires, reinflate the tires. All right, guys, thanks for watching this little video. It was just a quick walk around of what we did to the vehicle. If you have any questions or uh, concerns about the product or your own vehicle or what we used or, or any of that stuff, please contact us on Instagram or contact us at the store. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.